Hey everybody, I'm out spraying some more Grazon today. I'm just doing a one gallon sprayer with a little bit less than an ounce per gallon. Uh, I'm just doing some select uh, targeted plants, um, mostly thistle that's starting to come up in certain areas. Um, but I've gotten several comments uh, the last couple of days about the Grazon and I just wanted to address a few things. The comments ranged all over the board, but uh, there was a gentleman that uh, commented that he was unsure about the Grazon, and he connected a video to it, and that video contained a, a gentleman that had used hay out of a pasture. I don't know where the pasture was that had been treated with Grazon, and he put that on his garden as a compost or a ground cover or something and it killed his garden when i'm spraying the grazon in my videos you notice that i'm spraying the pastures i'm not spraying my gardens i'm not using the hay that i spray for compost or for ground cover in my garden you cannot cover every aspect of everything on that chemical i didn't go into everything that the chemical does and doesn't do i just focused on my pastures and the fact that it kills over a hundred different types of weeds as with any chemical there's precautions it doesn't matter if it's windex there's precautions with it and when you don't address every single nuance of every single thing you're talking about on YouTube, somebody's going to jump in and tell you that you didn't say this or you're wrong or something. So I've gotten all kinds of comments on, on this Grazon stuff. All I'm saying is, people, use it with caution as with any other chemical. I Again, I am using it on my pastures to kill weeds in my pastures to get my grass to grow. I'm not taking that hay and putting it on my garden or on my flower beds or anything else. I'm not taking it and um, doing anything else with it. I'm doing exactly what I told you I was doing. I'm spraying my pastures for weeds. The fact that the animals can get on it and graze immediately and it has no ill effect on them, that's perfect. If I were to spray Roundup, I couldn't put the animals out there and it would kill all of my grass. There's other chemicals I couldn't put the animals on. I have animals, you guys know I've got mules, so I cannot put just any old chemical out there and then turn the, the animals loose out there to feed. Um, just use some common sense, read the labels, and um, that's why the manufacturer puts the labels on there. And I'm gonna say something else before somebody says it. When your animal eats that hay, eats that grass rather, and processes it through their system and they poop it out, wherever they poop it out, whatever it lands on, it's going to kill. So if you let them go into your flower garden or if you let them go into your garden garden and they poop, that grazon is still in their manure and it's going to kill whatever it lands on. It doesn't bother me because they're out in the pasture. If it lands on weeds out in the pasture, I'm okay with that. So user beware. It will kill your garden deader than a hammer. No questions asked. You cannot get overspray on your garden. You cannot get anything on your garden. It will kill those plants in your garden just like it'll kill those hundred plus weeds out in your pasture. So that's all I'm saying, guys, is just as with any chemical, use precaution. I'm using a one gallon sprayer today. I'm walking around. It's kind of windy out here today, but I've got dandelions and thistle on the driveway and out on the street. So rather than just do a full blown spray, I'm just hitting targeted plants. Last year, I couldn't do that. You guys saw my pasture. They were inundated with weeds. So I, I couldn't do that. Um, now I, I can do it uh, selectively and um, 
I've got a 25 gallon sprayer that'll go on the back of a ATV or on the back of a golf cart or whatever. And I can go around, I can spray a 15 foot swath. And um, we're uh, at the end of March and everything is starting to come up now. And I guess people are starting to really look at the videos. And so I've started getting a lot of comments on it. And um, they're all constructive criticism comments. And all I'm saying is just user beware read the precautions on the label and um yes it will kill your dark garden deader than a hammer so um i'm going to show you what my pastures look like today uh a year later um have not cut them yet this year and i have not sprayed anything on them on a broad spectrum i've just been doing select out on the street like i said so let me show you what it looks like this is the same area we walked last year in every video. And you see, I've got a couple of dandelions. They're sporadic. But looks real good. This was, uh, I sprayed twice last year, as you remember. And this is all brand new grass right here. You see, this was all weeds last year. You can see the different color of the grass, but this was all weeds and it came up. I've got Johnson grass coming up again this year and I'm going to uh, target that with Roundup. And I wanna tell you that I was talking to my uncle who's a farmer and I told my uncle that the mules absolutely love the Johnson grass. And he told me that when the Johnson grass goes dormant, it becomes toxic to the animals when they eat it. So rather than let that stuff grow and have to go through the dormancy and risk them eating it, I am going to just hit it with Roundup and just kill it. So my, farm, my uncle's been a farmer for his entire life. I think he's fourth generation farmer, so I pretty much listen when he speaks. So this is all looking real good out here. And I have not sprayed. I'm going to have to spray because there are weeds that are coming up. But from what it looked like last year to this year is night and day. All right, so just before you use it, as with any chemical, just read your labels. That's why they're there. Hope that helped. Um, I still believe in it. It's a great product. I'm going to continue to use it, even though there are many of you out there that said don't use it. Um, it works great for me and what I'm trying to do. I think the people that say don't use it have had bad experiences with it killing gardens and flowers that their wife planted or, um, you know, whatever it was that it was non-targeted plants that the chemical killed because of overspray or direct spray or whatever. Use with caution and read the labels. Thanks. See you on the next one.